Well, this is part two of the four-wheel drive Gravely tractor build, and it's been about a month or so since you saw the last video of it, which was part one. And since that time, I ended up getting two more transmissions from a couple of Gravely 400 series. And got these in about two weeks ago, give or take, just haven't had a time to do a video on them. So anyways, these ones are both red, whereas my other ones are yellow, and they're a little bit newer, because you can see they have the cutouts on the ring gear for oil, I think, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, the inside's a little more dirty than I wanted it to be. I was looking for a couple of clean ones that would be, you know, pretty quick to put together, but I'm going to be doing the same thing like I did with the other one, the first video. I'm going to be pulling the axle housings off, take the differential out, clean everything out, and this stuff should wipe out pretty easy because it's very oily, so that should come out pretty nicely. I also have the PTO plate on the front, <clears throat> so I don't have to go looking for any of those. Still has the brake drums and it has good axles on it from what I know of, so it will save me from having to look around for axles again. So that's one of the ones. This is the better of the two. The other one I have out here underneath the bench. And this one was the worst of the two for being clean on the inside. It's got a lot of rust on the top there. And down the bottom, it's got a lot of goop and stuff. I ended up pulling that out of it earlier. So that's going to take a lot more cleaning. It's got a little more rust on the outside. Same deal. Uh, brake drums, hubs. It's also got the PTO plate on the front. So this one will not be, will not be getting used on the build. I'm going to be using this one in here and this one that I have up here in the shed. And this is one of my yellow ones here. <clears throat> And reason being is that this one and the other red one are both the cleanest out of the four that I have and are probably going to need the least amount of work. So I don't know how well you could see it, but um, no, you really can't since the planetaries are still in there. But it is fairly clean inside. It's about like the red one. So this will get the same treatment with getting the axle housings off, regasketed, and everything. Uh, obviously, already washed this one, so it's ready to go on the outside. Nice and clean. Still has the PTO plate on and everything. And these axles were still good. The only problem was a little ding in the keyway right there, which isn't really too big of a deal. And I already pulled the other hub off earlier, and it's still really good on that side also. So, got a good transmission here. And this one is a little older than the other one, not that it really matters, by a couple years. Whereas on that one, you saw the brass ring gear. This one has a solid brass ring gear without the cutouts on the side of it so it's also got a good brake drum the keyway's a little worn but it's really not too bad inside so that's all I have to show you guys for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through both of these transmissions I'm gonna pull them all apart regasket them reseal them do what I have to do to them and next time you see the update these should be both sitting on the floor uh, with wheels on them and then we can start working on the center joint then it's going to go in here with the PTO shaft and everything, start laying stuff out. So that way you can kind of skip over all the boring stuff, because it's pretty much going to be like the video you saw in the first part, where I'm just pulling stuff apart, cleaning things out. So, until you see this again, um, everything should hopefully be down in the garage, all cleaned out, ready to go. So there you have it. That's part two of the Gravely four-wheel drive